welcome to Brawlhalla. Hey guys, it's Killa Cleo, and we're going to be talking about the lore of Brawlhalla. So Brawlhalla has a huge amount of lore within its universe, as well as a Meet the Legends tab in-game that'll show you each legend's individual lore. The Brawlhalla exists within Asgard, an afterlife home to all gods of Norse mythology. Asgard is connected to Brawlhalla as it is home to Valhalla, where all the combat in Brawl takes place. Valhalla can be seen depicted on the map Great Hall, where you can find Valkyrie statues, a golden shield ceiling, and the golden tree Glasser. This hall is based off the Norse mythological Valhalla, a great hall where warriors who have died in combat now are destined to fight forever. All the legends in Brawlhalla have such rich and interesting friendships that just continue to grow with the ever-expanding universe. A huge part of the Brawlhalla lore is all the various groups and clubs the legends have formed while in Valhalla. The Myers Baby Food Corporation, or typically abbreviated to MBFC, is an organization referenced in Val and Ada's lore, as well as it suspiciously works with the organization Nanotech, their slogan being Your Friend in Nanotech. This logo can be seen on Ada's shirt, Val's forehead, as well as in the background of Miami Dome. The Electric Fight Orchestra is a techno-fantasy Europop band mentioned in Isaiah's lore. The band consists of Isaiah, Ada, Olgrim, and Fate, and have been seen referenced in official Brawlhalla artwork as well as the Welcome to Brawlhalla animated short. The Electric Fight Orchestra isn't the only musical group in Valhalla. The Raven Sisters, Moonin and Hugin, have formed a glam rock duo called Raven Queen. Before Raven Queen, they were known as Winged Mayhem, previously known as the Corvids, and before that, known as the Crow Mountain Sisters. The Valhallen Ladies Book Club is led by Scarlet, with members including Fate and Onyx. Zol has challenged Scarlet for leadership, even though he's technically not even a member of the group. The Iron Legion is a mercenary group under Azoth's empire. The army was first led by the Troll Titan before being seized and replaced by Zol. Under Zol's leadership, they became rich and powerful. Zol's recruiting process for the army was to place a bounty on his own head. Those brave enough and strong enough to survive Zol's beatdown were offered the chance to live and to join the Iron Legion. Taros is part of the Legion, as well as Mordex not being officially confirmed, but having his own Iron Legion skin within the game. This is just the start for the lore of Brawlhalla. Each legend has their own backstory and relationships within Valhalla. Knowing more about the lore has made me love the game even more. Knowing what my favorite legends have gone through, and even legends I don't like and what they've gone through, has made me more invested and made me love the game more than when I didn't know anything about it. A really cool thing about knowing legend lore is it also helps you complete seasonal battle pass missions, as a lot of those missions are based on individual legend lore. I hope you guys liked this video. Like, follow, and subscribe to stay up to date with even more. Skr skr!